special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity. The panel would recognize our guest right away, so we have, as we always do, provided them with blindfolds. And the blindfolds are all in place, panel? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? As you know, panel, in the case of our mystery challenger, we get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with Miss Arlene Francis. Are you part of the entertainment world? Mm hmm. <laughs> Are you a performer? Mm hmm. A delicate one. Uh, would you be considered a leading man? Mm. <laughs> I think since that has basic connotations of the theater, uh, and its alignment with the theater is so close, we'll give you a no, so we don't mislead you. One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Well, am I correct in gathering that you're a representative of the male sex? <laughs> <laughs> that was a yes. That, that was, was a yes? Uh, are you grunting this way because if you talk, we would probably recognize your voice? Mm. Yes. <laughs> uh, would you be in any possible possibility connected with the world of music in some way or other? He's left. Mm. Is, that, is that a yes? That's a yes, too, yeah. I, uh, I just have a wild idea. Uh, do you uh, play an instrument yourself occasionally? Mm -hmm. I, yes. I don't know what that means. That means yes. Mm -hmm. Would you, by any chance, uh, have a, a very famous nickname that is known all over the world? <laughs> <laughs> Something like Satchmo? <laughs> I still, I still got the best story about this. Actually, I haven't had a chance to talk to Mr. Armstrong before the show, but we had a great discussion about it. And I just asked one of the folks in the show, Bob Back, I said, well, what is, what is Louis Armstrong going to do? How is he going to disguise his voice? He said, oh, he's going way up. <laughs> way up. This is the way he sings his song. <laughs> Is that the highest up you could get? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm what I'm singing, you know. Actually, I'm afraid, Louis, that it was high for you, but yeah. it just wasn't high for the rest of them. That's all. <laughs> well, it's all right. You know, I just, just buy a lot of records there. The man must buy a lot of records there. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've seen you folks. Yeah. Well, why did... Why don't you let me say thank you? Uh, I'm only sorry you weren't going to be here with us longer. I wish you could have gotten higher, but why don't you go up and say hello to the folks at, on the panel? Well, I'll get higher next time. I'm going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. Go up and say hello to the panel. Don't forget to swing your feet at a little old place at Basin Street, because that's where we swing it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> An odd coincidence. Louis Armstrong is, in fact, swinging in Basin Street, just off Broadway here in New York right now. And as you all know, he's got a big picture that's coming out all over the country. All right, let's see. We've got time to really have a trial. Week magazine, Mr. Bennett, sir. On, on my left is a gentleman who's a wizard at interpreting the news for TV and radio, and also a wizard at misinterpreting contestants' answers for this panel. <laughs> I refer, of course, to Mr. John Charles Davis. <laughs> I'm innocent as...